Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneeman or at Schneems on the internet. Recently I've been asked how exactly it is that I got an adjunct professorship at the University of Texas as well as what is an adjunct professorship. So first we'll start off with that one. Being an adjunct professor means that you are not a tenure track professor. Uh, typically those are people in the industry and since I'm very heavily involved with Ruby and Rails and have prior teaching experience, I was asked to come and teach a database class through the lens of Ruby and Rails. So I think that's a pretty good fit. Now, for the next question, it's a, it's a little bit longer. Uh, I've always been interested in teaching. The first, uh, first job I ever held out of college was working for a company called National Instruments, and part of that job actually entailed flying around the country and uh, teaching technical material. I was teaching a software product called uh, Test Stand. Typically, these were 40-hour-long classes, and the interesting part about Test Stand is I didn't really know it that well. Uh, I actually learned the majority of what I know about Test Stand through teaching it. So it was a good bit of learning through teaching, um, and that was kind of NI's uh, philosophy was I, I knew I had to teach this material, so I sat down, studied it very, very hard until I understood it to the point where I could teach it, and then the actually giving it, actually teaching other people, having them ask me questions, um, actually made me a much, much better uh, test and developer. So at the time, I was also doing Ruby and Rails in my free time, and I decided, hey, uh, I want to get better at, uh, at Rails. I want to get better at teaching Rails. So I decided to um, start advertising and saying, hey, I'm going to do a free Ruby and Rails class, and uh, nobody believed me. So after a while, I found a, a group called the Austin Software Mentors that was interested in teaching uh, students of the University of Texas about common developer, uh, things that you would learn as a developer that you might not pick up in school. And uh, they said, hey, yeah, Ruby on Rails would be, would be great. We'd love to teach some web frameworks. We'd love to get people, you know, get their hands actually on some, some real world examples. And so I started uh, teaching there. I put the, uh, the first, uh, first set of material online. Um, Cindy Royal actually filmed the entire first class, uh, makes up about eight hours worth of materials, and then put that on Vimeo so you can actually find that online still today. Um, since then, I've become quite a bit better of a teacher, I'd at least like to think. Um, last year, I did another class and put up um, the, the screen grabs of that class online. You can find on schneems.com um, under uh, Beginner to Builder uh, 2011. So after having that experience, I was working for, uh, or through that experience, actually, I got the interest of... Goala, and they said, you know, hey, obviously, you know your material, you know Rails, you know Ruby, you're doing this for free in your free time, would you like to do it, get paid to do it full time? And I said, you know, hey, yeah, that sounds great. Um, you know, later on, I was approached by one of my colleagues, Adam Michaela, who said, hey, a, you know, a friend of a friend is teaching this database class at University of Texas and is looking for guest lecturers who know something about NoSQL. So I said, yeah, sure, I'd love to give a guest lecture at UT, and you can actually find, um, it's actually a video recording of me practicing that uh, presentation. It's called uh, Scaling the Web, uh, Databases and NoSQL, and you can find that on, on YouTube. And that's, believe it or not, the first time I've ever given that, and that's me practicing. <laughs> that's, uh, it's, it's my most highly viewed video. Anyway, I gave that uh, for a professor by the name of uh, James, sorry if I messed this last name up, Howitson, and uh, he thought it was great. He, uh, the class really enjoyed it, and whenever they were, uh, they were looking for people to teach another a class on databases, and they, they heard that students were interested in Ruby and Rails, uh, my name came up. So they, they said, okay, well, he's got prior teaching experience. He clearly knows his stuff. He's very interested in, uh, in the learning space and in teaching. So um, I got an email. I signed some paperwork, and I'm happy to report that I am officially a University of Texas um, staff member, and so I'm doing this kind of um, kind of in, in my free time, in addition to uh, the job at uh, at Heroku. So it's been quite a bit of fun. You can follow along with the class uh, online at schneems.com. I have been putting cutting up that material, kind of condensing it and uh, breaking it into smaller chunks and putting it online. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier to digest. 
So uh, that's how I became an adjunct professor. Uh, thank you very much for sticking around. Um, you Again, hopefully you find my material useful and interesting. And if you have any questions, uh, just uh, send me a line, schneems.com, or on Twitter, I'm schneems. Thank you much. Have a great day.